Welcome to our video on determinants. This video will show how to calculate determinants for 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three matrices. Determinant is a real number associated with a square matrix. So if A is a square matrix as we see here, then the determinant of A can be written like this or with vertical bars like this, and it's equal to AD minus BC. And we actually used this in an earlier video to determine the inverse of a two by two matrix. So if this is our matrix A, then we can say that determinant of matrix A, which can be written like this, is equal to negative eight times one, that's negative eight, minus negative three times nine, which is negative 27. So this is negative eight plus 27, which equals 19. So for matrix B, the determinant of B can be written like this or like this. And this is equal to seven times four, which is 28, minus nine times two, which is 18. So the determinant of matrix B is equal to 10. So it's pretty straightforward for a two by two. Now there's two methods to calculate the determinant of a three by three. Method one is called the diagonal method. And this is how it works. We first start by copying the three columns of the matrix. And then we add column one and column two to the end to make a total of five columns. So again, the first three columns are from the original matrix. And then we recopy column one and column two. Once we have it set up in this fashion, we can calculate the determinant of matrix A as follows. Determinant A is equal to the sum of the products of the red diagonals that start at the top and move to the right, minus sum of the product of the green diagonals which start at the top right and move to the left. So we have the quantity of AEI plus BFG plus CDH minus the quantity of CEG AFH and BDI. Let's go ahead and give this a try. So if we want to find the determinant of matrix A. We'll first copy these first three columns. And then we'll copy the first two columns again. So negative two, negative one, two, and then two, one, zero. And we're going to have the sum of three products minus the sum of three products. The first three products will start at the top and move to the right. So we have one, two, three. Let's go ahead and find those products. So we have negative one times one times negative one. That's positive two plus two times three times two. That's 12 plus negative three times negative one times zero is zero. And now we'll form the other diagonals that start at the top and move to the left. So we have one, two, three. So let's go ahead and find those products. We have negative three times one times two, that's negative six, plus negative two times three times zero, that's zero, plus two times negative one times negative one, that's positive two. So it looks like we have 14 minus negative four, which is equal to 18. The determinant of matrix A is equal to 18. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a second method for determining a three by three determinant. It's called the method of cofactors, and this is how it works. To calculate the determinant of a three by three matrix, we multiply each element in any row or column by the determinant formed by deleting the row and column of that element. If the sum of the row and column of the element is even, we're going to add the product and if the sum of the row and column of the element is odd, we will subtract the product. So let's see how this is going to work. 
we could select any row or column to work with. But let's go ahead and just stick to the first row. So what that rule is telling us is we take this first element, negative two, and we're going to multiply it by the determinant form by deleting the row and column of this element. So if we eliminate row one and column one, we're left with these four elements, which form the two by two determinant. So we have one, three, zero, negative one. And since this element is in row one, column one, and one plus one equals two, which is even, we're going to add this product. Now we're going to work our way across row one. So we just use this element. Now we'll use this element, which is in row one, column two. So we'll eliminate row one, column two, and we're going to have the element two times the determinant that we just formed, so negative one, three, and two, negative one. Now this element here is in row one, column two. One plus two is three, which is odd, so we have to subtract this product. And now we have one more element in row one we have to work with. And now we're gonna have negative three, this element here, times a determinant form by deleting the row and column of that element. So the determinant will be negative one, one, two, zero. And then lastly, this is in row one, column three. One plus three is equal to four. Obviously four is even, so we'll add this product. So if we always use the first row, it'll be plus, minus, plus. Let's go ahead and evaluate these two by two determinants and then find these products. So here we have negative two times, this is gonna be negative one minus zero, it's negative one, minus two times this determinant, which is negative one times negative one, that's one, minus six, that's negative five. Here we have plus a negative three, the same as minus a positive three times, here we have negative one times zero, that's zero, minus one times two, that's negative two. Let's go ahead and finish this off. We're gonna have positive two plus 10 plus six, which is equal to 18. And I don't know if you noticed, but this is the same matrix that we had before. So of course the determinant should be the same, and in fact it is. So we have two ways of finding a three by three determinant. It doesn't matter which way you use. I think you have to be a little more careful with this method because based upon what row you choose, it's going to affect whether you'll add or subtract these different products. I hope you found this explanation helpful. Thank you for watching.